many students are not actually getting the advice they need when they need to actually cram for a maths exam. So I thought I'd set the record straight and give you my four step procedure to make sure you can actually cram for that maths exam. Whether it's IGCSE, GCSE, A-level maths, it's the same process over and over again. So number one is essentially practice something a little level under what you have done so far. So if you're doing IGCSE maths, for example, then I would practice some simple decimal to percentage conversion if I'm gonna revise percentages. If I'm doing A-level maths paper one, then I'm gonna expand some double brackets or triple brackets to prepare myself for binomial expansion. This gets you instantly motivated for the topic that you're gonna revise, and at the same time, practicing those basic and fundamental skills. Now, number two is check out one of my videos of all of, for example, A-level maths uh, binomial expansion or all of IGCSE percentages. So you're actually seeing actual exam questions. As you're going through that particular video, you are going to struggle on particular parts of it. So the key thing is to find that key word. If it's IGCSE maths and you see the phrase compound interest and you have no idea what compound interest is, you underline it very quickly. If you're doing A-level maths paper one and you see something about find the coefficient of x cubed, you underline that very, very quickly. Now, step three here is to find a tutorial video on that particular topic. Now, this is where for IGCSE Maths, the GCSE Maths Tutor and Cognito are very, very good at explaining those key concepts using the phrase that you have underlined to search for the right video. If you're doing A-level Maths Paper 1, I'd recommend TL Maths. That's really, really good for going through very, very specific concepts. So you watch that particular video on that particular concept, then you come back to my video on those exam questions you really need to do well on to score well on your grade and then actually attempt the question now with that concept behind you. Once you've got that, then you can continue with the video. Same process, you underline that phrase, you find a concept-based video and then come back to the exam. By doing this process over and over again, this is the most efficient way to actually build your schools really, really quickly. If you want an overview, however, of the A-Level Maths Paper 1 or the IGCSE course, then check out the two videos over here. And hopefully this has been really, really helpful to you. Again, it's not a complicated system, but it really, really works.